Hello there, it's Tyler, and today we're going to be teaching an AI to play Breakout. However, the main difference between this and regular Breakout is that balls spawn continuously throughout the game, and there's no actual limit on how many balls you're allowed. The only thing that stops you from having more balls is however many you can keep up. There are also three unique levels in this version of Breakout, each more difficult than the last. On screen now is my current record, however I'm only actually able to get to the second level. The thing that makes this game so difficult is that the panel is extremely sensitive. Normally this could be seen as a positive since it means you can keep up a lot of balls if you're really good, but it also makes it really difficult to control, and I clearly haven't quite got the knack of controlling it yet, so hopefully the AI will have better luck than I do. As you can see from this new level, there are actually different types of bricks. The original grey bricks just take one hit, whereas on different levels there are different bricks which take different amounts of hits. The yellow bricks take two and the red bricks take three, however on the third level there are also some more bricks which take four and five. Today's AI will be called Gladys, as this was suggested from my last video. However, if you'd like the chance to name my next AI, be sure to head down to the comments and give me some suggestions, and while you're there, remember to like and subscribe. Also, before we jump into Gladys's adventure, here's a quick look at the third level, as sadly I was not able to beat it, but hopefully if the AI does well we should be seeing more of it soon. So with all that out of the way, Gladys's adventure begins, and as per usual, we're starting out with pure random actions, as Gladys just needs some time to explore different actions and see what they do. As you may have figured out, there's a good chance it might be a while before we start seeing any improvements, since random behaviour and breakout is really not an effective strategy, so until the AI really starts learning something, it's pretty likely we're not going to be seeing much at all. So after a couple of hours of training, Gladys isn't quite a pro yet, however they are making a fair amount of progress. It's probably going to be a while before we see some good scores, since Breakout is actually a pretty hard game. So the way Gladys actually learns to play Breakout is through reward signals from the environment. This is basically just the environment saying if Gladys has done well or done badly. So in this game there are three different reward signals. One which is just hitting a brick, which is obviously good. The second one which is a punishment, which is dying, and the third one which is a little less obvious is just hitting the ball back with the panel. I added this one in since this should help speed up the learning, since Gladys will quickly learn to associate hitting the ball back with good behaviour. So for the rest of this video I'm actually going to show all of the clips on double speed. The reason for this is that even if I selectively pick all of the clips, Gladys is going to require so much training to get good at breakout that the video is going to end up way too long so it looks like I'm going to have to speed things up by quite a lot. So the learning algorithm I use for this video is pretty similar to the one I used for the last video, but it has one major modification, which is called experienced replay memory. Even though this is a fairly complicated concept, it's pretty intuitive. To give you an idea of what this modification is, I'll start by saying that the way these AI is learned before the modification is basically just by collecting memories. So this is any time it sees anything, it puts it in a big bank of memories that it has. The AI learns new things from using these memories to learn from. However, with the old AI, it used to just sample these memories evenly, so that each memory would have an even chance of being learned from. However, as a human, you probably know that this isn't quite how our brains work. For example, if we have some kind of near-death experience or we get rejected by someone, we're far more likely to hang on to that memory, as painful as it may be. So this algorithm mimics this behaviour by effectively learning more from the memories which have more to be learned from, thus improving the overall performance. So while recording this, I actually had to leave my house, which was why Gladys ended up receiving more training than any AI I've ever made, with over 5 total days of training. So without further ado, here are the results from all of the training.
So before going ahead and showing you the final record set by Gladys, I'm first going to show you some interesting behaviour that Gladys developed in later stages of training. So do you remember earlier when I mentioned Gladys would get a reward just for hitting a ball with a panel? Well it turns out Gladys actually worked out how to exploit this, and instead of progressing through the game and continuing to hit bricks, they realised it might be a bit easier just to keep a couple of bricks alive and continue to just hit the ball against the wall, and that's exactly what Gladys did. In reinforcement learning, this is often called reward hacking, although it's also been used quite a lot in movies and stories, it's kind of where you get exactly what you wished for rather than what you actually wanted. So before we jump into Gladys' final record, here's the final graph for Gladys' time spent playing Breakout. To emphasise just how long this was trained for, the x-axis on this graph is actually in tens of millions of frames, meaning Gladys was trained for over 20 million frames. But as we can see from the graph, for the first 2 million frames, Gladys improved pretty rapidly, and then until about 10 million frames, continued to steadily improve. After this, however, things did start to stagnate and we didn't see too much improvement. However, Gladys did actually get the final record at about 19 million frames, so there is a chance it was still improving even at the end. But after 19 million frames of total training, here is the final record set by Gladys. But that's all for Gladys' adventure. Anyway, thanks for watching and see ya!